Good afternoon, investors. So this news just came out not too long ago. What the? Okay, this news came out not too long ago regarding Aurora closing the acquisition of Rivia LLC, uh, the Canadian company defining the future of cannabinoids worldwide. Today announced it has completed the previous ac previous acquisition of Rivia LLC. A leader in sales of CBD products in the United States for approximately 40 million of Aurora Common shares. This transaction includes a small potential of US 45 million payable at Aurora's option in shares and cash contingent upon Rivia's achieve certain financial targets over the next two years. So they closed it early. It's good. I don't know. I don't have too much to say about that. I can read more of this just to kill some time. But it is very exciting. I don't know. I guess not really exciting that they closed. But it was exciting when they announced the news. Now that they closed it, the stock propped up a little bit. But, you know, it's it's a good thing. I, I don't know. I like it. It's a good thing. If I was living in the U.S. right now, I'd definitely go out and i order some CBD products and do a review on it on my YouTube channel. But I don't live in the United States. And number two, they don't sell to any, they don't sell to Canada. So I can't, unfortunately, I can't buy any. But if I could, I would buy some. But I can't. So I hope somebody, people in the United States watching this video does buy some of their products and reveals it. I hope, but you know, that's hoping. Anyways, Aurora this morning jumped all the way up 10% early in the morning because of that news. And then it dropped off. But you know, that's the reality of it. If Canopy tomorrow uh, destroys the earnings report, I think Aurora is going up with the market. But that's my opinion. Madman had pretty horrible earnings, and the stock tanked. Uh, if it goes back to twenty-five cents or lower, I would gamble on it because it, you know, even if it's a piece of turd, it rich people will still pump it. So I'm hoping that in the f I'm gonna gamble on it. I'm hoping in the future. Rich people pump it again because obviously retail investors don't. Canopy growth. Canopy growth is up a dollar twenty six. Not too much to say about that. Uh, but uh, you know, it to if it keeps going up, the le the the, le the less bullish I am on it simply because it's already it's already gone up. If we look at the charting, oh my god, that's. That loading took forever. <clears throat> if we look at the chart, RSI level is already at 74. So it's hard for me to say I'm bullish when the RSI level is at 74 and the MACD is already on the rise. I mean, sure, we could have another pop, another 10% pop on earnings, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't hold your breath for like a hundred percent pop because the RSI level is already at seventy four. If the RSI level was at let's say I if I if the RSI level was at let's say sixty five or sixty, then yes, I would be hopeful for a big rally after earnings. But it's already at seventy four. It's already overbought. How much higher can it go? I don't know. I just don't see it. But that's me. That's my opinion. We'll see what happens. Tilray. Tilray is up this morning for cents. Afria. I could do, I could go sell my Aurora position right now because I'm profitable. But I want to believe in this company long term. And I'm, you know, I just don't want to sell my stock even though I can sell for a profit. And then go and sell it for Sorry, I can sell for a profit, small profit, and I can hope the stock price goes down so I can buy it at a lower price, and you know make more money. But what happened if what happened if uh, Canopy earnings is good and the the Aurora skyrockets to twenty US dollars, then I would kick myself for selling, right? Like FOMO, 
FOMO, uh, Tilray, you know, Afria, I'm just, my feeling, gut feeling tells me that uh, Canopy stock is probably going to fall, but that's my gut feeling. Uh, Afria this morning is up 5.25%. Afria looks like it's setting up for a fall uh, because, you know, it's up, it's green. If it was red, I would say, you know, to, and then there's Kron, which I don't have up here. Kron. Kron is also up 3.36%. That's looking good. AMD this morning is up 63 cents. NVIDIA this morning is up $7.65. Delta Airlines, Delta Airlines uh, down 24 cents. American Airlines is falling this morning uh, down 64 cents. Uh, not too much to say about that. Southwest Airlines, the one that's slightly green this morning. Uh, Carnival, uh, Carnival Corporation this morning is down 83 cents. Uh, I, don't, I don't have anything to say about that. I hope Carnival goes back to 9 US dollars. That would make me happy, but I don't think that'll happen. i definitely buy something if that happens. Uh, Beyond Meat this morning is trading sideways it had a small pop in the morning and then it fell it fell back i care this morning i care i sold out my i care position this morning and it fell and then it just went up again so i don't know i took my profits i i just you know whatever i mean maybe i should have took some profit and left the rest of like just maybe take half of my profit and then left 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 the rest to ride up. But I did this, I decided to take all of it. If it crashes again, I definitely would be interested. But will it? There's a gap to fill now between thirty one cents to thirty six cents. So it's a possibility. We'll see what happens. Uh, Radiant. This morning, it's just not doing too much. Volume is decent, 1.1 million shares, but it's not going up or down. Like I said, retail investors don't move stocks. Unless, you know, there was a big, big news like, Aurora buys our radiant, boom, that stock will go up massively. But will they? Probably not. Not, not in the short term anyways, so... Maybe in the long, long term, when a Roy is like a hundred bucks, then why not? Uh, True Eve, True Eve. Uh, this morning is up fourteen cents. Not too much to say about that. Liberal Health Science uh, fell today to fifty cents. Would have made it an opportunity unless it, 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 again True Eve could fall fall to forty cents, but. As long as like the market is bullish, I think if it falls to around 50 cents, it's a buying opportunity for a swing trade, but that's my opinion, I, you know, not financial advice. Ianthus this morning is down because Medman was down. Kiraleaf this morning was trading sideways. Uh, Cresco Labs this morning is also trading sideways. Uh, Vero Health this morning uh, had a pop, but now it's trading sideways. Slang uh, trading sideways this morning. Uh, Bitcoin this morning is just kind of. No, it had a pop this morning and then now it's just trading sideways. Uh, and high blockchain technology this morning is up 2 cents. 38.5 cents, 5.45%. Uh, not too much to say about that. Anyways, that's it for my video. Wow, nine minutes and eight seconds. That's so close to my 10 minute mark. Yeah, like I said, if I lived in the United States, I really would bought some Rivia products. I can't wait until they announce uh, Roar Spa Sports for uh, f that Rivia would start selling or some Aurora Drift products or whatever they call the US CBD Aurora products. Because I think, like like the CEO was talking about, that they plan to sell Rivia product. I mean, they plan to sell Aurora branded products. Uh, so, and probably Aurora Sports too. Aurora, Aurora Sports too, so. Maybe they should call it Aurora Sport, Sports, you know? I just, just saying. Could be a good name. Could be an interesting name. 
Um, yeah, so I guess that was the news. Still a good entry point. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Just looking at the co uh, conversation on Yahoo Finance. Doesn't seem anything interesting. Anyways, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this content. Give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. Subscribe for future updates. And have a great day. Bye.